Hey everyone, this is Mizan. As I have promised in my talk in WordCamp Pokhara 2018 that I'm going to give away my testing environment that I use uh, for checking my themes and plugins and also for reviewing themes and plugins. Here I am. I am giving you the uh, WordPress setup that I use to check and review uh, themes and plugins. So let's jump into it this is my github uh, you uh, you can easily find this uh, repository where i have given my setting in uh, my environment which i use and i'm going to uh, add a readme uh, file uh, like readme.txt uh, readme.md file where i am going to uh, give a walkthrough written walkthrough what you should do but this video is all about how to do it so it's actually better okay so this is the address this is my setup miss wp review so what you can do you can clone it uh, to using terminal or you can just download and then you have to just you know uh, unzip it it uh, to your web server here is mine and uh, i have then given a database dump which you have to install in your server so I'm going to show you that after you have downloaded and uh, extracted this is the setup so now there should be two things you need to update the config file here is the config file and you have to give the database name and also the username and password so let's do that so i'm creating a new database in my php my admin you can use command prompt or whatever situation and environment you are in i am making a database name is wp review and then what i am going to do is i'm going to change uh, the collation engine of my database into utf 8 general ci so then i'm creating it it has been created and I have to go inside of it so just I am making sure by clicking it and then I am clicking on the import make sure that you have a higher upload limit uh, which you can easily do from your PHP INI file so my database is not heavy it's only 600 less than 600 kilobytes so it should be working with your setting in with your environment anyway because by default PHP might be supports 2 megabyte of upload limit so i'm clicking on it then i'm going to go to my ht docs where is my overall wordpress setting environment so i'm clicking on the dv dump and then i'm importing it by clicking on go it will take some time once you are done uh, then it will show that import has been finished successfully finished and uh, the next thing is not necessarily you have to keep it as miss wp review you can easily change the folder name into anything you like so you have to do that and now what you have to do you have to update the wp options because uh, our path might be changed so see my main uh, uh, setting up main environment is learn wp because i had created that to learn wordpress then uh, slowly i have learned thing but i uh, didn't change the name so that's my name so what i'm going to do there is i'm going to change it to w miss wp review uh, okay then I'm also going to change it to Miss WP Review. So Miss WP Review. So it doesn't you know conflict with my other sites. So then uh, there is uh, you don't need to change any other settings. Uh, you can change the admin email and other stuff. So it's totally up to you. Uh, then what I have to do, I have to just update my uh, DB name, which is 
me is WP review and I'm in my local environment so root is the username and I have no password but you might have some password so make sure if you have that then to check it I am going to check by writing localhost and then means WP review though I have set up a virtual host and a virtual uh, host domain name for my setting environment that is review.dev you can set that if you like you need to know how to do that mm, how to set up a domain name for your particular path from your virtual host file but right now i'm showing you the easiest way localhost slash your folder name it should come it, it will take some time based upon uh, the load time and other stuffs so bear with me and there is some uh, this is my uh, new server so i have to change some settings so it become faster so this is it uh, for some reason it's not loading because i might have uh, removed some theme uh, if it's come like this uh, don't you worry uh, that means that uh, the dependent theme has been deleted uh, so just uh, what you have to do is you have to write like WP admin then just write learn as the username and I have a learn one two three as password so you can use that or you can just uh, change it to anything so learn learn one two three So it's a local environment and you're not going to make uh, use it in the live site server so that's not a big deal so it's a common pattern so what you have to do i as you have just uh, you know changed the database and other things so first thing first i would like you to go to the permalink from the settings and just uh, click on save changes for once it will update the .htaccess file so it doesn't conflict with your current server settings then i think i have changed the theme actually i have deleted the theme which was activated so this one the last theme neptune real estate which i just reviewed and approved in wordpress repository so that has been deleted because i wanted to keep my repository size in github uh, lesser so that's why so i'm just activating another theme okay so it should work right now it should work perfectly yeah it has been loaded so this is my setting and setup uh, and you will have all the setting like uh, l very extra large widget menus and items like that which uh, it, there is everything so you can check and if we go to the dashboard this is the query string which is populating right now which are populating right now there might be more than one query so necessary plugins already have been installed for you you can also install more and you can update those you know so this has been added theme sniper and also nilambar sharma's theme check that is also a theme sniper or sniffer then the default theme check and query monitor these are the uh recommended setting setup environment and debug bar also everything is there and i also check for envato so i have also added the envato theme check so it's a totally my setup which you can use uh, let me show you how you can check for your items quickly you you just go to the theme check for first time because that's the author uh, official theme check plugin from them so right now we are using 2011 we you can change it to anything and click on check it if there uh, there is some issues it's going to show over here these are the issues anyway so you need to change those uh, because it has updated so you need to change those most of the cases theme check gives less errors but NS theme check or theme sniper will give you a hell lot of 
errors and warnings and they're going to give more like giving the line numbers and other things you can change the version of the php and stuff like that but i'm not going to uh, go in depth uh, in depth i'm not going to go in deep uh, because uh, i'm going to just uh, show you how you can set up this environment and check so please play with it and work around how to do it because it's a journey it's a learning journey okay one more thing suppose you want to review an item okay so what you should do i have said in my talk that you just click on request the theme item for review but uh, right now the s s process has been changed uh, it's manual now you don't get a theme automatically you have to go to the wordpress.slack.com this is the official channel of wordpress in slack so these are the issues so from there from there you have to request an item here uh, uh, you want to review an item you just say it here one of the theme mod and team lead is going to um, give you a ticket like this okay then when you are in that ticket you can uh, review that in two ways like this is already review accepted anyway so okay I am trying to figure out my one okay so this one is still under final review by the uh, uh, team mod a uh, team lead so what you do you go uh, you you go to a ticket that is, that has been assigned to you then you will check you will see that there is two version of the theme one is zip file and one another one is svn if you have any subversion software like tortoise and anything you can easily download using that uh, but the easiest way for a starter would be clicking on this one uh, and it will download the zip file then what you do you go to your setup environment like local host slash miss review wp admin i'm not sure your why it's taking so much time might be something with the internet connection because there is some dependency from the internet like downloading files from other servers when loading a website okay as we do oh, we install a theme you can just easily install it like add new then upload then just you know browse the item install it Hmm. then you should uh, install those plugins in order to check the things and codes but I'm not going into that in deep I'm just checking if the theme is working properly or not just opening in another tab I have no idea why it's taking so much time today anyway bear with me okay this is the theme uh, it's working okay correctly so now you can check for issues you know using this uh, checking environment so it's totally up to you just explore roam around play with everything I guess you will figure out how to check for your items and how to review other codes and make sure uh, even if there is no issues here make sure to check the codes manually going inside of the code like uh, you know 
in inside of these files and codes checks if there is any hard coded thing or not then if you figure out that it's okay then approve or submit your item for approval so that's it i hope you have enjoyed this video and you can now easily review or check your items using my setup you can install more plugins and things needed and uh, it it will change uh, depending uh, depending on uh, the future uh, feature changes made by the you know uh, corresponding authors so don't make it as the official thing you just use it and change it as needed so thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like the video and uh, please do uh, visit my blog that is misspress.com i sometimes write article over there thanks bye bye